Hey there, I'm really excited to announce the Jumpstart Pro iOS template is now available. This is a library that I wanted to build for a long, long time since TurboLynx was available. And now that Hotwire has come out and all of this stuff has been updated, we've shipped our very first version of the iOS template. So this is built on top of Turbo Native for iOS, which wraps your Rails application in a web view. So what you see here is a web view for each tab and we've configured our own tabs controller for the iOS template. You can easily change the tabs just by changing a JSON configuration with the um, tabs name, the text that you see down here and the icon and the URL that it should load for that tab. Now what's really cool about this is that we have a native um, header up here as well. And when you click this, it uses the turbo bridge to actually fire some JavaScript to hide and show the menu inside of the HTML. So this isn't a native menu, it's actually one built into the web. And this is for our mobile views and different from the desktop. Um, but this is all configurable through JavaScript. So it's really easy to interact from iOS to the web view and vice versa, versa using the Turbo Bridge. You can say, run this message on the iOS client from your JavaScript and the iOS client will see that JavaScript message and then um, call whatever native code you would like to do. So one example is, of that is if we go to login, this is actually intercepting the login path and taking you to the native login screen. So here we can say our email address and our password. And if we click login, this will make an API request to the Rails applications API. It will log in our user, set the cookies as it normally would for a web view. And it also returns us an API token so that our iOS application can make API requests. So we're really logged in in two places, the web view um, through cookies and the API token inside of the native app. So that way all of your native screens can interact with the API and make you know uh, any changes to your application through native code, but it can also do that in the web view just like you would in your regular old browser. The next thing that we see here is allowing push notifications. This is already built in and set up for you so that when your device um, sees a logged in user, it's gonna prompt for the um, push notifications out of the box. And when you click allow, it will send the device token over to the API, which will be recorded. And then you can send push notifications from your backend. So we're gonna allow this but the iOS simulator doesn't allow push notifications, so we won't see anything with that. You'll have to use a real device to make that happen. But now you can see we're logged in. We can refresh the page just by pulling and dragging. And if we do our regular poking around in the application, um, we will see that just opens up different pages in the web view. Now we've configured this out of the box so that slash new and slash edit URLs will pop up as modals instead of being added to the top. So this is a pretty cool feature and a way to make it feel more native when you go into a settings screen or you know add a new blog post, that will pop up as a modal in native code. So one other um, example that I wanna show you here is if we click on password, this is gonna pull up a fully native page for this as well. So we can intercept those routes and we can say, hey, instead of showing that page um, on the screen or in a modal, why don't we go replace that with an actual native modal instead? So this is our update password modal. This is all native code using Swift UI, and we've got the um, form submission here, which will send that out to the Rails API to update your password. So you can really easily introduce new views like that and you can quite easily change that by modifying the path configurations JSON that the iOS app will interpret and use to determine which routes and pages need to be handled natively with iOS versus the web view. So that is the basics of our iOS template for Jumpstart Pro. It's already integrated with authentication, push notifications, your tab bars, your JavaScript bridge, examples for all of those. All of that is out of the box with our Jumpstart Pro iOS template. Super excited about this. We'll be having an Android version in the future, but for now, I hope you enjoy the iOS version.